All right, guys, it is five after 11. So I believe we've got our participants here. I would like to say thank you very much for joining us and welcome to uh, the first virtual tour or Sunset West first virtual tour. Uh, my name is Wes Stewart. I'm the founder and managing partner of Sunset West. Um, man, it's been a crazy year. I hope everybody is uh, healthy and staying safe out there. Uh, just going over the agenda, we're going to go through a walkthrough. Uh, we're going to talk about trending, best-selling items, uh, new collections of notes, uh, and then kind of what's coming or what's what we see developing for trends of next year's. And then finally, we will be taking questions at the end um, via the chat box. Does everybody see the chat box on the lower right-hand side? Good. All right. Uh, as some of you may know, we moved into a new showroom in Las Vegas, uh, January 2020. We had a phenomenal show, uh, best show by three or four times that we've ever had. So people really responded to the new space and the line as it's being developed. Um, and as we go through the showroom, you'll see that we've laid out our showroom in what we are calling our color stories, which is a concept of mixed materials, mixed textures, um, all designed to go with one another so that you can offer your client a more opulent or upscale um, environment for their needs or wants. And, and truly, it becomes the it blurs the line of this indoor outdoor living and helps uh, kind of get people where they want to be in terms of an outdoor environment. All right, and, and the beauty of this is you, because we're mixing and matching the materials and the textures under our roof, you really only need one resource to accomplish that. All right, so we'll be talking about color stories in our uh, quite a bit throughout uh this presentation all right so to start with that we're going to start in our slate color story and what you see here um is the milano armless club chair it is a rope design with no need for a cushion it's a very very comfortable chair a very popular chair uh you've got your dark round end table next to it uh this is a concrete item uh, again, a mixing of texture, a mix of materials all blending together. Uh, this is the Redondo Daybed. Uh, what I would really like to emphasize here is we have a marine grade vinyl mattress cover. Uh, the beauty of the marine grade vinyl is that it's very, very easy to clean. Uh, you can even use a solution of bleach if you so choose. And it's waterproof, so it keeps the uh, the rain out of your 12 inch foam mattress. Now it comes standard with seven pillows and drapery. We have our Florence club chair and our light round end table. All right, as we go to, towards more of the slate, uh, here is the Emerald collection, the Redondo collection. Let me zoom in on the Redondo here. Uh, what you can see is this has a brushed aluminum finish and we have that over our beveled aluminum extrusion. And what's really, really neat is you can see right here on the edge is where the two beveled extrusions come together. You've got just this nice pinching of a detail that really sets us apart from our competitors that are just very block, uh, very straight line oriented. Uh, I've always believed it's the details that make finer furniture. And that's what we're that's what we've put into our Redondo collection. Uh, the Redondo collection has been a huge, huge seller, an absolute home run for us over the last couple of years. All right. We've got our uh, slate brushed granite, or I'm sorry, home granite fire table here. This is our Emerald 2. The Emerald 2 is a nice, thick, heavy, wide arm, uh, low back resin wicker seating group. One thing that you'll notice, or if you're not familiar with our line, is the comfort of our low backs. Our low backs are extremely comfortable. Um, it, obviously, it's what we love to do, or what I love to do, is put everybody in in seats as I have this presentation normally. But uh, we can't do that here, so I guess you're just going to have to take my word. 
All right. Uh, the Milano end table, again, that's that honed absolute granite top right here, working with the Redondo. And I forgot to mention, this is our spectrum carbon fabric. This is the standard uh, stocked fabric in our emerald line. All right. Uh, real quick, as we're looking at the Milano, we talked about the beveled extrusion here of the Redondo. That's repeated in the back, that beveling is repeated in the back or reflected in the back of the Milano uh, seating here. And again, we talk about the mixing, the matching the materials and bringing them together and making these collections uh, work very, very well together. Uh, this is part of the magic of that. It's in the details. And because of that, the Milano and the Redondo are a fantastic color combination for any of your customers that are really looking for that slate gray uh, colorway. We'll come over here a little bit and we'll look at that Redondo Milano combination right here. Uh, in front of us, directly in front of us is our 48 inch square coffee table ottoman. That is a solid block of foam uh, with a two inch, um, I, was, I should say a two inch comfort um, piece of foam on the top, Dacron wrap, and then a vented bottom. Of note here, we have a, a bell block, which is a moisture barrier sewn in onto the top of this coffee table ottoman so that water can't get in from the top. All right, so that's gonna keep the moisture out of your foam and what allows us to be a, um, what allows this to be an all weather solution. Uh, it also adds for a bunch of seating because it's pretty comfortable. So it's a uh, multi-purpose piece of furniture, multi-use, I should say. All right, we're going to spin around and take a look. Here is your Redondo dining, your Redondo armless. Again, you can see that brushed aluminum finish. And we're working back with the Milano dining chair as captain's chairs here. Three arm uh, Redondo dining chairs and a Redondo bench. Uh, there we go. You can see the Redondo bench poking through right here. Uh, the Redondo and Milano were made to go together, and we are doing very, very well with that. All right. And further example of that here is our Redondo pub table. You've got your Pietra, your Milano and your Marbella bar stools all, all around that Redondo pub table. All right, we're gonna head over to the stone, uh, which is a new color story for us. Here we go, I gotta move you guys. Move this. There we are. All right, here's the Pietra. The Pietra is a really beautiful pencil arm uh, seating group. Look at these mid-century modern hues. The uh, the rope on the arm is actually inset halfway. There's a uh, this this arm actually radiuses down where the rope starts, so it gives it a little bit of a groove. Uh, it's not completely inset because we didn't want to negate the 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 design detail there, but it it's just enough to to hold the rope in place and have a beautiful detail there. The uh, stone I want to mention is just a slightly warmer gray. We'll see the, uh, you see the slate here, the slate color and how it's a little bit of a cooler gray here. And then the stone is just a little bit warmer of a, uh, of a, of a tone. You can see the slate versus the stone. They still work very, very well together, but, um, we wanted some, somewhat of a warmer stone here. Uh, you have the Grigio armless and uh, cushionless chairs. These chairs, or this chair won an award, a People's Choice Award in the Vegas 2020 show. I believe that was, uh, no, that's not the, but in the uh, market snapshot, we did get the People's Choice for this uh, chair. It's a great little mid-century modern look. It's very comfortable. It's pitched the right way. The seat's pitched the right way and the back is perfectly curved. Uh, we are moving as a company, we are moving more and more towards bench style cushions or a single bench seat cushion. Uh, again, within trend, 
we notice this is what our customers are asking for. It's a cleaner solution. It's a more contemporary solution. You know, all the right things. Uh, a, this is a honed granite end table with aluminum base. I'm going to spin around and show you the back of this guy. All right. So here's the angle of the back of the Pietra club chair. And then you see that there are the vertical ropes on the back of the sofa as well. So let's, let's get in on that little relief that you'll see, you know, or that little reduction in radius on that channel that you'll see as part of the details of our group. Uh, the Pietra, while released at the January show, we really didn't get going with it until about May. And it has absolutely been a home run, uh, knocked out of the park. Uh, if if anybody's got an open spot on their floor or needs for a smaller space um, seat group, this is a very, very smart choice. All right. We're going to move over to the Marbella, which is continues on to our stone look. And the Marbella is a, has the same, you can see the same rope color, but it's made of a belt and a, I will call that a shoestring rope as well. And so that combination gives you this diamond pattern. It's a beautiful, beautiful weave. And, and again, it's too bad you're not there in Vegas um, because it, it, it's got a great texture to it, but it's a very, very impressive weave uh, when you're actually touching and seeing it in person. I, I just can't do it justice here on that tour. Uh, but this is the stone or the graphite powder coat. Uh, we've got our gravel stone fire tables. We've got two of our stock heritage granite 18 inch and 18 by 18 inch hoof ottomans. The Marbella uh, includes a dining chair, a club chair, a bar stool, and a sofa and an ottoman. So it's a limited selection of items but a beautiful, beautiful group. And we're going to see if we can, can't, no, we can't see the back of that. All right. And then wrapping up our stone colorway is our Mesa and our Mallorca. Uh, again, a delicate or a smaller space solution. It's still very comfortable, guys. We're not giving anything up on comfort here. But what we have done is we've reduced the footprint for those who need a bit smaller uh, or have a smaller yard or balcony that they're trying to um, fit outdoor furniture in. And we're gonna go in the back of this uh, mason and so that we can see the, the three slat back. Uh, again, guys, I wish I could show you the polishing and grinding here. It's just super clean. And as a result of the smaller uh, footprint, there's less materials. So your Mesa, your Mallorca, and your Pietra are actually starting price points or very close to starting price points for Sunset West. All right, uh, moving, just pivoting behind us, going to, going to our Monterey and Montecito collections. This is our cognac color story. Again, we're mixing materials, we're mixing uh, textures, but it's coming together in a single cognac color story. So what, what we have here is we have the ability to mix resin wicker in the Montecito collection with the aluminum components of the Monterey. And where you have this rich brown, little bit of a copper highlight in the weave, you pick up that same copper highlight right there on the back of the Monterey. Uh, both both of these collections are very generous in scale, very comfortable in seating. Um, you'll see the round gravel stone fire table with a round tank cover. Uh, everyone, please note that the burner of the fire table is a lifetime warranted item to the original purchaser. Also, all the, the while the burner comes plumbed for propane, all the items that you would need which basically is uh, an orifice and a shutter are included in the box so that you can convert this to natural gas, which we're seeing quite a few conversions um, through our customers.
All right. So that's our cognac color story. It's really for a more traditional customer that doesn't want to go, you know, into the gray tones or or uh, anything too transitional. Um, you know who those customers are. All right. All right. We're going to go over to our driftwood color story. And our driftwood color story consists of our Coronado and our Laguna, our Manhattan, and you could throw in the Ibiza Club Chair as well. The Coronado is a staple of Sunset West. We have sold this over and over and over again for a number of years. Uh, we developed the Laguna Aluminum Club Chair or the Laguna Aluminum Line from the Coronado Resin Wicker. So the two flawlessly complement one another. Again, we're showing a 48 inch coffee table ottoman. Uh, this was smartly banded in uh, marine grade vinyl for six inches on the bottom. Uh, I thought that was a pretty, pretty neat detail. Again, we'll show you the, uh, the slap back, the horizontal slap back. And let's see if we can zoom in on some of this brushing. Again, this is one of those things I would show you and point out if we were in the uh, in the showroom, but I guess eh, you can see a little bit of it there. So again, extremely comfortable group. Uh, this Coronado sectional is 108 by 108, but we've got a 32 inch armless club chair in here. So you've got 108 by uh, 140, which makes a very nice club chair. That armless can go on either side and you can add mul multiple armless along if you'd like. Uh, there's our Biza Club Chair, and there's the back of the Laguna right there. All right, so that's that's our driftwood. Um, if you don't have driftwood on your floor, if you don't have a driftwood type color story on your floor, put it on your floor. It's a great, you can warm it up, you can cool it down depending on the fabric selection. It really is a versatile, a very versatile look. And I think with our with our aluminum and resin wicker, compliments or or the the color story here you do achieve that um you know the upper end that um more exclusive look all right uh moving from our driftwood color story to natural uh we'll start a natural color story with a havana the havana uh is named havana for the city in cuba which you know this this uh Resin wicker really reminds me of dried tobacco leaves. It's got a warm yet aged look to it, and it starts our natural color story. Uh, the Havana Club Chairs or the Havana line is really built off of the our most successful selling frame ever, which is the Coronado and the Montecito line. So we just wrapped it with a more uh, trend forward resin wicker. Uh, here you will see the Coastal Teak with the Havana dining chair and the Coronado dining chair. We want to show you how that Coastal Teak works with both the Driftwood and the Natural color stories. All right. We're going to go over to the front of the showroom where the rest of the Natural is. And that is... Dana and Coastal Teak. So we saw the Havana, which kicked off the natural colorway, but the Coastal Teak here, which is the Redondo uh, club chair frame, but in a Coastal Teak finish. Uh, the Dana, which is a beautiful rope collection in this linen-y rope. Uh, the knots on it are the reason for the, uh, the name Dana. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody knows, but Richard Henry Dana. Uh, settled in Dana Point, or what is the namesake for Dana Point, and he was a famous sailor who sailed around, um, sailed around South America to get to the U.S. We've got the Dana uh, wing chair back here, really nice set, and then the Dana hanging chair. All right, the Dana hanging chair. Uh, we brought this in as just to have a something. Uh, unique and to have a um, something to talk about. We have sold tons of these. Uh, the hanging chair comes in the Dana rope and it also comes in the Milano rope, but it is a comfortable, comfortable chair. 
And it, I, I would recommend this as being one of the first pieces to um, first pieces if you if you wanted to bring on Sunset West or you wanted to suggest items to a client. It, it's just a it's a showstopper for sure. All right, uh, going back. Oh, there we are. I want to show you guys. Can you can we see that? Yeah. No, maybe it's better from the front. The Bali fire table, the round Bali fire bowl is cast with relief on the side. That's not an application. That's actually a relief that's cast into the mold. It's really quite pretty. And I'm sorry that we can't show this to you in a, uh, in a better light, but we're fairly limited on the, uh, the camera angles that we were given from this virtual or for this virtual uh, tour. All right, again, bench seating. We've got a little more of a bohemian style throw pillow here. Uh, very, very eclectic, very cool. Back to the Dana. Let's see if we can get, well, maybe I can show you the, uh, the back of the sofa. There you go. If you're going to float any item and you need a light frame, the back is just very, very interesting here. And there's a ton of work and hand work here. Um, you'll get all the credit for in the world for it. We stock this in our canvas linen or linen canvas fabric, I should say. So there's a little bit of a texture which you can't pick up on the fabric itself. And the linen canvas really does pick up some of the, the linen-y tones of the frame, the rope here. There's a good picture of the side of the Dana. All right. Moving into our frost group. Our frost group is a light group. It's virtually the exact or the polar color opposite of our slate. Uh, it's a satin white group complemented by uh, the same silhouettes that are in the Milano for our rope chairs. Uh, same silhouettes that you see in our honed granite. We offer in the honed Carrera marble with aluminum. Here again are your uh, your 18 inch ottoman poofs, your 24 by 48 inch coffee table poof. To the left is our Newport dining, Newport bench, and this is a regatta dining chair. We'll speak about the regatta in just a bit. All right, coming to our Newport day bed. Uh, we call this our king day bed because the mattress dimensions are an inch off either way. Uh, we did this on purpose so that nobody tries to put a traditional king mattress outside and get soaked with water. Uh, however, it does share very similar dimensions. So that is a big, big piece of furniture. We've actually seen many of these much more than we would anticipate going into residential backyards. Uh, we have done some commercial jobs, but at, funny, a preponderance of these day beds are going into residential settings. Again, this is the marine grade white vinyl mattress cover, easy cleanup and waterproof. That's what we need, right? When we've got this big of an item sitting outside. Uh, we've taken the 24 by 48 inch coffee table ottoman poof and it's kind of used as a footstool here for the day bed, whether to throw your towels on it or to, uh, you know, put a tray, drinks, sunblock, you know, it's just a neat accent item here. To our right, we've got the Newport sectional bench seating, the cast silver uh, fabric that you see on the cushions is our stock fabric. And we've got the cast ocean throw pillows here. I think that the tone just works really, really well together. Again, this is our 40 by 40 inch gravel stone fire table. Uh, for anybody asking about BTUs, it is up over 100,000 BTUs on that burner. All right, we're going to move more into on our way to finish or to, to completing the frost color story. Uh, I wanted to show you the cushionless chaises, which we weren't known for until about a year and a half ago. About a year and a half ago, we decided that we needed a chaise that did not have cushions so that maintenance was a bit easier and cleanability was a bit easier. Uh, behind this, you'll see our chair wall. 
What's neat about this is we go from very traditional to very contemporary. You've got steel, you've got aluminum, you've got resin wicker, and you've got rope. You've got all these different elements, all these different materials, yet they all work together. And it shows you kind of the breadth of the line or, or gives you an idea of the breadth of the line. Still all very clean. It, we're not a goopy line, but, but this does, I think, display in a very quick picture who we are as a company. All right. The regatta. This is a Pfeiffer Tex sling insert on the um, arm panel and the back panel. We are going to stock it in this canvas navy with a canvas canvas weld. This is just a very, very sharp, uh, clean group. And we feel we're moving away from our neutral stock colors and we are going to do the uh, canvas navy with a white weld. Again, your honed Carrera top end table with a satin white powder coat. And this is a 42 inch honed Carrera top single slab aluminum fire table. All right. Uh, Naples. Our Naples group is a full collection sling seating set. It's a Pfeiffer Tech sling. Uh, you've got dining, bar stool, club, love, and sofa, all and a chaise, all in uh, sling. You've got complimentary aluminum slat tables. Uh, what's nice is the dining chairs, the chaises, and the club chairs all stack for storage. So we, what we did is we brought this out for more uh, commercial environments in mind. Um, what we're showing here is called our Lido Pillow Pack. We'll talk about pillow packs a little bit. This is the number one selling pillow pack we have. The pillow packs are six pillows, three pairs of pillows. You get a 20 inch, an 18 inch, and two kidney pillows in the pillow pack. And we pre-select the fabric. So this is called Lido. It is our number one selling pillow pack. And we took a couple you know, Navy poofs just to complement the Lido. All right, again, Hone Carrera, occasional tables, and pivoting around. Now, the Provence. Uh, the Provence dining chair is our number one selling item. The club chair does extremely well. We have a coal black frame with a century pewter dry brush. And the reason I did the century pewter dry brush was to highlight the details of the frame. You can see where this basket weave back is wrapped around the uh, top rail here, of the curved top rail of the, the back of the chair. But the ball and collar finial just really finishes off this frame very, very nicely. Um, people have called this kind of an old Hollywood, maybe a, maybe a Palm Springs look, but you, you know, Beverly Hills, uh, there's, you know, uh, there's plenty of places where you can easily um, place this frame. Uh, we've done the Cabana Classic black and white stripe to complement the white or canvas canvas cushions with the uh, canvas black welt. And this would be our number two pillow pack. This is called Fetch. Any dog lovers out there? You'll see that the uh, the dogs on the 18 inch throw pillow and there's a little speck of red in this pattern, which brings out the. The big red 20 inch throw pillow and then our Dalmatian kidney pillow again, very, very smart group. This is our number 2 selling pillow pack. I guess there's a bunch of dog lovers out there. All right. Now we're going to go up to the front and. Talk about trends moving forward. What you see here is a mix of natural, neutral, and light tone frames. Uh, you've got aluminum, you've got resin wicker, you've got rope, and you've got teak all sitting in this grouping, but it all works together. And what we're seeing as a company starting to emerge are these lighter, more natural, neutral frames, but with bolder and brighter uh, colors for cushion selection. Uh, this was, this is our buttercup, our canvas buttercup. Uh, the pillow pack here is classic. 
and on trend are the leaf pattern or the floral kidney pills. We're seeing more and more of these pop up in uh, higher in design, and it's not the old old traditional leaves. It's more it's a cleaner leaf uh, that we're seeing as trends emerge. All right, so we've got a resin wicker, our aluminum Newport, our Dana rope with the Carrera, the Hone Carrera marble top, and then our coastal teak with a resin wicker weave. All right, guys. Well, that concludes the tour portion of our um, event. Now let's see if we can do chats. And let's take questions for from everybody. Does anybody have a question? In the chat. Of which items? All right, price points. People are asking for price points. So our club chairs will start anywhere from about $600 on a retail showroom floor to about $1,400 on a retail showroom floor. And that is with a custom umbrella cushion that is manufactured here in the US. What I forgot to mention is while our frames are all, are all imported, our cushioning is all manufactured here um, stateside uh, in Vista, right next to where I'm speaking to you from. The low back cushions here are actually loose and they're pinched. They're pinched between the arms. You can kind of see the pinch right here. Now, if you'd like Velcros or ties, we can certainly apply those for you um, as we make all of our own cushions. So that's, that's an easy one. Lead times for custom. Well, it's been a uh, unbelievable year um, for, um, May 1st through uh, the last, well, last Friday, uh, our sales were up a little over 80%. And so that's put a bit of a pinch on our lead times on custom. Currently, our lead times for custom are seven to eight weeks. Uh, last year, we didn't get anywhere over uh, four weeks. So now, while our cushion lead times for custom are seven to eight currently, uh, there are some challenges when Glen Raven or the parent company of Sunbrella, where they're also trying to catch up uh, to demand. And so certain fabrics aren't available uh, currently, but I would say 80 to 85% of the fabrics uh, that we use regularly are available uh, in normal lead times. There is also a stock option that we didn't talk about. And you can see that stock option. Let's just go to hover over a blue dot. This takes us to the Dana collection. We'll click on the Dana collection. We'll get to a Dana club chair. And in this Dana club chair, in the details, we talk about the stock Sunbrella fabric. And in this, uh, here it is, stocked in premium Sunbrella fabric, premium Sunbrella fabric in linen canvas. So that stock fabric currently is available within three weeks. Normally that's a seven to 10 day lead time. All right. Pergolas, so so our pergola here next to our showroom is, <laughs> this was what was out in the courtyard in, uh, in January. Uh, pergola, while we've had interest, I think, um, this time, you know, with COVID, uh, we really brought the, the pergolas out as a commercial uh, installation. We haven't had uh, any on order. Those are an extended lead times, but they are 12 foot by 12 foot by nine feet tall. So they are significantly large pergola. I hope that helps. Oh, you know what we can talk about? The pergolas, what we see here are the base plates. Those base plates actually detach from the column itself and those four holes are meant to mount either to a deck or with concrete anchors so you can mount those structurally and and really um, 
add to the strength and, and rigidity of that pergola. So thank you for asking. Can you replace or fix the bolt if it's damaged and how does it come back to the original bolt size? So the the answer is yes, you can replace uh, damaged rope. Uh, we would basically deconstruct a sample or get some of the rope from the manufacturer. Uh, you cut it underneath or uh, where it is not visible uh, to the eye, and then you start your your winding, if you will, there. Uh, our sales manager, John's from Arizona. He's had a piece of rope in his backyard now going on, I think it's three years, and he's seen no noticeable fading or deterioration. Of course, like anything else, uh, the more you take care of any of this stuff, whether it's rope, aluminum, resin wicker, steel teak, uh, the better off it's going to be. So any furniture covers, or um, if you are in excess, excessive heat or excessive weather, uh, it's always smart to cover your furniture or bring it in when not in use. Is that all the questions? All right, guys. Well, I really appreciate your time and uh, time here today and the opportunity to uh, show you our virtual tour. Uh, a link to the showroom or to this tour uh, without my commentary will be available on our website. And then as you can see from all these blue dots, you can take yourself to different parts of the website and see the different items that we have available. All right. Thank you for your time. You can reach out to us at sales at Sunset West USA if you have any further questions or if we can help you out. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.